Bubba Tack here and this is going to be my video review of the Radian Raptor LT ambidextrous charging handle. So if you've been following my channel I have a series of builds going on and one of them is a uh, take on the what would stoner do rifle in an homage to those guys over there at in range that came up with this brilliant idea of uh, kind of rethinking the AR-15 uh, along the lines that stoner did if it had been done in 2017 or 18. I uh, really highly recommend that series if you hadn't seen it. If you're watching this you probably have. So uh, if you have and as you probably have their uh, take on that was that it needed to be completely ambidextrous uh, as close as they could get it. So I needed an ambidextrous charging handle uh, for my build as well. Beyond that, I happen to be right handed so it's probably not that big a deal uh, whether it's ambidextrous or not, but my son is actually left handed and he as a novice shooter in the next couple years will be, uh, you know, I'll be training him up and trying to get him, uh, you know, uh, well versed in different types of firearms including my AR-15s and the thing that really drew me to the What Would Stoner Do Rifle Project was that it was a, a light a firearm and that it would be ambidextrous and this is just right up his alley you know light enough to where he can uh, carry it and hold it and shoot it as a novice shooter but also be ambidextrous so as a left-hander he won't feel uh, you know out of his league or anything but it'll also be just as useful to me as a right-hander so uh, their particular choice I believe was the Geisley uh, supercharging handle uh, I got nothing against that that's probably what I'll go with in the future but my deal was uh, I didn't really have the you know nearly a hundred dollars ninety to a hundred dollars to lay out on that just now that's quite a bit to be spending on a charging handle even though that's a phenomenal charging handle these uh, Radian Raptor LTs are actually a lot more affordable like half the price and uh, AIM Surplus had a deal going on where you got 15% off or something like that and I got an even better deal on uh, this uh, Radian Raptor LT charging handle from them I think I got it for like $50 shipped uh, so that's a great deal and you can actually see those kinds of deals all over uh, the internet right now for these as of July of 2018 so just to give you an idea of maybe why this is such an affordable uh, charging handle as an ambidextrous charging handle and then kind of going over the design at the same time Radian does have a lot more expensive ambidextrous charging handles they really do uh, as expensive as the guys we were just talking about or BCM so what they do different, Radian does with their Raptor LT charging handle that they do different than other manufacturers is this actually has over molded polymer on it. And I think I know what you're thinking. It was probably the same thing I was thinking the first time I read about that. And that is I own Glocks and I do like Glocks, but I'm just not the biggest fan ever of polymer. And uh, I think there's a lot of guys that are still out there. And I think the reason why we're that way is because we kind of like the traditional stuff. So uh, we may prefer the way charging handles have been made in the past using all, you know, machined aluminum parts. And just like when it comes to polymer pistols and other polymer components, uh, it kind of takes us outside of our uh, comfort zone when we start talking about replacing the old tried and true designs with these newfangled style uh, components. And I felt that same way I did, and that was one of my initial issues with the What Would Stoner Do rifle using a polymer lower. But just like when I took the step with that and going with the G-Wax lower and really, really liking it, and how light it was and how strong it is, and you don't feel like you're losing anything by going with that over a conventional uh, aluminum alloy lower, uh, I decided to give this a try too. It is actually machined entirely uh, from 7075 aluminum. This entire uh, section right here that is the actual part that goes up to the front of the uh, BCG is a uh, machine from the same material as any uh, conventional uh, charging AR-15 charging handle. And back to this point and right here is also uh, 775 machined aluminum. And actually with inside of these uh, polymer cap sections right here that are made out of uh, high strength reinforced fiberglass is uh, more 775 uh, aluminum and machined aluminum and then that those actual 
uh, levers for the um, ambidextrous controls are then over molded with the polymer and it actually gives you uh, you know very high strength uh, in its basic design uh, your latch right here is still uh, machine from 775 aluminum so um, although it is different than most of the traditional charging handles that are out there completely manufactured out of 775 uh, or thereabouts uh, aluminum this one is, but it also has this overmolding of uh, polymer. And I actually have a kind of neat picture uh, that came with it that gives you an idea of how the ambidextrous system works. And you can see the 775 in here where the uh, actual levers are. And then you can see the overmolded part of the polymer that goes over it. So that's kind of how they kept the price down and how they kind of went with something different than what other manufacturers are doing. Uh, this has a mil-spec type 3 hard anodized uh, coating on it just like any of the other ones that you might come across. And as you can see here, the right side ambidextrous lever is actually a little bit bigger than the left side. Uh, this latch in comparison to uh, my BCM gunfighter here um, is about the same exact size as the Mod 4 which is their medium latch. Uh, and I believe they're, uh, sorry for bumping you, I believe the side lever here is basically the same. I don't have a BCM ambidextrous lever to show you to give you an idea of the size there, but it needs to be just a little bit bigger to clear some of the components on a standard AR-15 on the right side. But uh, those just create really good texture. Right here you have serrations on the front and the back to help you grab it. And uh, when you actuate the... Uh, left side it only actuates the left side when you actually activate the right side just like any of the ambidextrous ones it activates both of them another design feature i like is here in the back this is sort of enclosed a little or has some reinforcement here and on the bottom as well some of them that you see out there are kind of open in the back or designed a little bit differently kind of like that you have two roll pins right there which look very good and strong and they're set into this uh, ample uh, machine from 775 uh, aluminum so that looks very well done and I'll tell you uh, it feels like butter in the in the carbine it really does one of the things that they're marketing is also the fact that this is actually a lighter version of charging handle now um, I believe you're kind of splitting hairs when it comes to other charging handles you know you know you save like one tenth of an ounce but it is something uh, to talk about and I'll go ahead and show you here real quick get my uh, scale so this right here is just a standard AR-15 charging handle we'll go ahead and throw that on there and as you can see there it is 0 0.070 uh, we're on pounds so I'll go ahead and switch it to ounces we're at 1.15 ounces so not very big sorry for the grease this is like I said I like to grease my charging handles and these have actually come from their home and their respective rifles and carbines so this is the uh, BCM gunfighter charging handle and this is the mod 4 with the medium latch this is the older version uh, they had an older version and they kind of had a mid-range version that had some differences on the rear of the la uh, you know back here at the back of the charging handle and then they have the newest one that's come out that they've referred to as their gen 2 uh, the, the, you know there's gen 1 intermediate gen 1 and then gen 2 this is a gen 1 so it's the actual original still says Voltor on it, Voltor on it and everything as you can see here it's one and a quarter ounces and this is just, you know, a uh, right-handed uh, charging handle. It's not ambidextrous or anything. So then we'll take the uh, Radian Raptor LT. We'll put it on there. And as you can see, even though it is an ambidextrous charging handle, it is only one and a quarter ounces, the same weight as the BCM Gunfighter medium latch uh, right-handed charging handle. So... Um, that's that does save you some weight there is some definite weight savings there over these other charging handles it doesn't weigh much more than a standard uh gi charging handle uh, and weighs the exact same as a standard uh bcm gunfighter charging handle so you are saving a little bit of weight and it's getting to be uh, an ambidextrous charging handle 
So that's always a good thing uh, when you can save some weight, especially when it comes to this what would stoner do rifle. That's kind of the MO of it. This was my video of the Radian Raptor LT ambidextrous charging handle. This is the AR-15 or 5.56 version. Thanks for watching.